Today I'm talking about the Nevesky Space Invader 9mm subgun or SMG. Now, a few things. If you are offended that this gun didn't come in Glock magazine configuration, just turn it off right now. I don't care about you. Second, if you're stoked that it takes Colt magazines like a real person, go ahead and continue watching this. Now, this is a super brief, super short overview of both of the guns that they just released. They released a PDW, I think it's an eight, eight and a half inch PDW style nine mil platform gun. As you can see, this shares some resemblance of a N4 PDW or whatever they call it now, has the Q stock on it. And if you can see right here, the receiver, the upper and the lower receiver are both notched for this stock setup or brace if they do option that. Now this is a pre-production model, so I don't know what is gonna change on this, but just the one that I have in my hand is full ambi. The biggest thing, right here, paddle release. That's the biggest thing for me, is this is insane. I'm so hyped. Colt Magazines, paddle release. The ambi functions don't really bother me because I'm right-handed and I'll figure it out. But this one has a tri-lug on it that most of you have probably noticed. And the fact that it's super short, it's super small, it's super compact. It's about the size of a MP5, or I should say my DT54N, which is a full-size MP5 with a side folder. But this gun, super rad, doesn't weigh too much. I'll put up the weight on it. And this one actually has a PEC-15 with the new Nevesky PEC-15 light mount right here, where you just release the mounting hardware, and then boom, you attach your flashlight stuff to it, and there you go. You got fucking some freed up rail space, less shit hanging off your gun. But yeah, here is the PDW style. Here is the 10 and a half inch. Now this one, um, like I noted before, which is full ambi, has ambi release here for magazine. Like I said, the paddle. And then up top, we have the bolt release, which I think this one's pretty stiff. Nope, not that bad. But yeah, there you go. And then this one obviously isn't cut out for the PDW stock, but this is a 10.5. So this would probably be super cool for PCC or just weekend plinkers or whom whomstiv ever wants one of these. And this also has a PEC 15 Nevesky mount on it, which is Cerakoted in FDE. So there it is. This gun is actually uh, going to be pretty red for shooting at night, I think. Pretty excited about that. But yeah, so quick overview of the Nevesky Space Invader 9mm guns, and uh, here they are. This is the 10.5 uh, and the 8.5. As always, FortKnoxPodcast.com. Myself, at GTripCorey on Instagram. If you have anything you want to fucking tell me how much of an asshole I am, just go ahead and DM me. Um, and as always, Superior Defense, and uh, shout out to Nevesky for making cool-ass rifles.